Hey guys, I got another one for you here. This is a uh, 2004 uh, Volvo S60 2.5 TE. I picked this up a week ago um, and the new owners are coming to pick it up tonight. Own this one less than a week. Um, it's a good friend of mine from uh, middle Georgia. He uh, he bought the car in 2008 when it was four years old, had 25,000 miles, and um, he uh, was going uh, bought a new Toyota and he went to go trade it in and they only offered him a thousand bucks for it. So uh, I told him I'd give him 1,500 if he'd sell it to me, and he did. So. I've been working on a little bit trying to get it it needed a few little things um, needed uh, had to check engine light on and when I pulled the codes uh, it was just simply the cruise control um, the brake switch under the pedal that cancels the cruise control so uh, I got that switched out and um, I had to put a new, um, like that fob, had to put a new uh, upper torque mount on the top of the engine. It's in pretty good shape. I've got a new lower torque mount from a previous Volvo. Um, I'm just going to throw it in with the sail. Um, I don't need it. Uh, and this car might could use it in the near future. Um, let's open the hood. This is Volvo's, um, you know, good old five cylinder light pressure turbo, not a T5 or anything, which those are nice, but I think this one's rated at somewhere around 200 horse. It's either 197 or like 208, I can't remember for the 04s, but I put this new torque upper torque mount on uh, it was pretty easy it took about an hour to do um, but golly it helped so much uh, this one was so badly worn out that it was popping when you go in reverse and drive or hit bumps or accelerate or do anything um, so that solved that issue um, the car's got all the service records it's got unbelievable service history I mean I've got every receipt um, timing belt's been done water pump um, air conditioner has been redone with the new compressor it's got um, new brakes uh, and rotors just look at this uh, stack of service records I got with this thing look at this that's every one every oil change every repair still got the uh, owner's manual and it's got stamps in it from the dealership from the uh, very first owner like with most of all those the leather does not hold up very well most of them you know rip to shreds over time at least these are still intact you know they're just got some cracking and just some general wear it looks like if you re-dyed them they would uh, clean up and look really good. Same in the back. Not nearly as bad, though. Um, I haven't even cleaned this car. Um, this is how I picked it up. So It's got a broken um, lid on the cup holder. And as you can see, the emergency brake leather is worn completely out. But uh, let's do a cold start. As you can see, it's been sitting a few days. And since the new owners are picking it up today, I thought I'd go ahead and shoot a video of it because I wasn't going to have one. <clears throat> Holy shit, I'm shaky today. God dang.
139,000 miles. Runs pretty good. The turbo's good and strong. It's a good running motor. It's got the nice, um, I forget what Volvo calls these rims, but, um, um, I mean, these are 235-45-17s, so pretty low-profile tire. Rides just a, a hair rough. Seatbelt on. Oh, shit. Get the seatbelt on. Come on. Well, let's get us a little AC going. We got some cool there. Good cold AC. Let's go for a little ride. Yeah, so uh, put new cruise control brake switch on it put that new torque mount on it and uh, you know I got about seven uh, sixteen hundred and fifty dollars in it now plus some of my time and uh, I've got it sold to these folks for three thousand I probably could have got a little more but there are actually some people that are I know I don't know them but a very good friend of mine is good friends with them mutual friends and they're on some hard times um, so I'm kind of helping them out a little bit I would have tried to get 3500 but three is okay um, but anyway AC good and cold Old car drives nice, especially on the interstate. It's got a great uh, feel on the interstate. I mean, um, you uh, you get her get her up to about 80, 85, and um, it's smooth as silk. It's like the faster you go, the better it drives. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a smooth shifting, five-speed automatic transmission. Um, it was a garage cap car. It's never been in a wreck. Um, everything works on it. All the power windows, the power sunroof. The radio works, but it's old, so it kind of sucks. But... Um, it's a great running and driving a little car. I mean, if I was smart for the amount of money I got in it, I'd keep it and just make it my daily driver. And then if I trash it or get it dirty or whatever, it won't it won't matter. Just a little rough on the bumps. I think it's those tires um, or this thing has the original uh, struts shocks whatever they don't make any noise they don't pop or squeak or nothing but they may be a little old and worn out probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace those
I actually bought one of these cars new in 2002 bought a new one it was a station wagon but um, pretty much the same body style same interior it was the same color combination on the inside uh, bought it new for my wife when we had our first child it was a great car um, we put uh, I think I traded it in let's see it was a 2002 I traded it in in 2007 so we had it five years and it had right about 95,000 miles on it when I traded it in and the car never gave me one problem I mean I think I had to repair the gas door one time and it had to go in for some kind of software flash or something for the for a jumpy for a lumpy idle um, but other than that man it was a great car gave no troubles at all and this car with all the maintenance up to date on it even though it has 139,000 you know with the time belt water pump you know uh, it's had a transmission service it's had coolant service brake flush um, plus all the oil changes on it have been done early um, this car could last you know could last a long time doesn't run hot it's never been run hot so that's good just a good daily driver for somebody which is exactly what these folks are coming down from Tennessee to pick it up for they just need a basic daily driver they got a I think a 03 Honda Odyssey minivan that's got a bad transmission um, it still runs and drives but uh, apparently it's missing uh, apparently overdrive fourth gear is in up and it's got a hard shift from second to third they're actually going to drive it down here and I told them if I liked it I might give them 500 bucks for it and it'll give me another project to work on um, we'll see this particular body style of Volvo was made from uh, 2001 through about 2007, I believe, maybe 2008. Um, so it, was a, it had a pretty long run, um, pretty popular. Of course, I have absolutely no use for a sedan version. I, you know, I, if I'm going to have a Volvo, it's going to be a station wagon. I mean, I just, I just don't have a use for, I mean, other than one this cheap with this good a condition, I would keep this one because it's pretty sharp with the wheels and the spoiler and the fact it's turbocharged, maybe I could um, take it to work and we could, uh, you know, tune that turbo, maybe see if I can't get, you know, three or 400 horsepower and just use it as a hot rod and melt the front tires you know be a jackass with it but I could really use a uh, thousand bucks fifteen hundred bucks in my pocket so we'll just let her go we'll just sell her I wonder if that's some yeah automatic sunroof it's kind of nice didn't know that I've literally only driven the car about 25 miles since I picked it up last week Turbo. It's got some go, man. It's got the juice. I mean, it's not going to break your neck, but it'll get out of its own way. I like it. It's a smooth running car for the money. You can't beat it. Can't beat it.
Yeah, not a bad looking car. All the hay and all the lights work on it. Even the fog lights work. All the tail lights work. Even the rear fog light for the tail works. This is kind of ugly. I got some back to black I might put on there and see if that helps it. It's got a decent set of toy, toy, toyos, toyos. They're in okay shape. But yeah, good, good daily driver, good runner. S60 2.5T 2004. Anyway, y'all have a good day.